All right, today I got an MSI RX 580, 8 gig. I've already taken the screws out. So this lifts off. Put that to one side. I bought this on eBay. This parts are repair. Oh, this also took the screws out for this as well. Um, yeah, I looked into it a little bit. I figured I should probably make a video on this in case I blow it up or something. So, yeah, I bought this on eBay for parts and repair. Let's see if I can fix it. I haven't worked on too many graphics cards, but definitely want to learn. I figure it'd be a nice thing to know. Yeah, always further the education on electronic repair, right? So... Yeah, I don't know much about it. I don't want to just plug it into my computer because bad things can happen and have happened. So I'm going to go around testing the power in 12 volt here, 12 volt here on the PCIe, the 3.3. I'm going to check all these coils. All of them, even the small ones, to make sure there's no shorts to ground, no shorts to power, and go from there, right? Hopefully, by the end of this video, I will uh, we will have a working graphics card. Be nice. Okay, so I know these boards run on pretty, some run on pretty low resistance, so I can't use, I can use the beep test, but then it gives you that beep plus the reading, so let's see if I can get this both in here, okay, right there, okay, so I put my leads together, should read almost zero. Point three, point three of an ohm is the resist resistance of my leads. So first things first, we're gonna go power to ground shorts. Okay, so we go to ground. That's a negative. That's a ground. Positive. Mega ohms, yep. Okay. Positive. One's in the back. Round. 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 Okay, so these three are my positive. And there was no short to ground, so we will check this coil is direct in line with these. There's a direct connection. Yeah. And this one is good. It should read, coil should read pretty much a short. Yeah. Okay. So that one's good. Got this little one here. Kill ohms. Kill ohms. Okay, we're good there. How about this little guy? Twenty nine ohms. Twenty nine ohms. I believe that is okay on that one. I, I'm looking for, I know there's low resistance, but I'm looking for, like, zero resistance. Okay, anything over here? No. Check that one. These are not service mount, these are through holes, same with these. As far as I understand, these are the V-Core power supplies. This is 
think one is memory, one is memory controller, or they're both memory, and one of these here is memory controller. MOSFETs. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if they these two read different. So if they read different, then one is going to be memory. One will be me uh, memory controller. I understand, right? I might not know the terminology perfect, but I am still learning with these. Okay, so we need ground, and we're going to check these coils on the back side, which they are one here. We got 30 ohms. That's good. We got 21 ohms. Okay, so these two are reading different. So I'm assuming one is memory, one is memory control. If I remember that right. Okay, and then this V core 1.1. Point one, one point three, one point three, one point three, one point three, one point three. Okay. Yeah, these I understand. From what I understand, that these coils are very, very low resistance. So, a bit dirty. And never mind, this thermal paste yet is just. It's done. I shouldn't have done that. Thermal paste is very crusty on this thing. Get that out of the way. Okay. More things that are just laying in the way. I need to clean up sometime yet. Okay. So I know this is not short, that's not short. This is not short, and these are not short. This connects to there. How about from the 12 volts PCIe? Well, we'll go off the second pin in. Coil. Point three. That's short. Swap the leads. Yeah. That is also short. Why would that be? Zero ohms. Okay, so the 12 volts on short to ground. Oh, I wonder if this is just a direct connection. That could be. Then this would be the same thing as what we have here. So the 12 volts get directly connected to here, and this is the 12 volt that's directly connected to there. We'll try the 3.3, .3, which is one, two, three, four pins in. Four pins in to ground. I'll kill them for good. Coil. We're good. That one. We're good. Yeah, we're going to do microscope. We're just going to go over this whole thing. Do a quick visual inspection and see what it does. Okay, microscope on. Let's get this guy a bit higher. Get into focus. All right, sorry, I was going to interfere with the camera a little bit up here.
Okay, so we're starting up the top corner. And we're just gonna slow, slowly make our way through and see if we see anything. Uh, there's a fuse there. Okay, keep that in mind. See, it's got the vias right there. Uh, it's very interesting to me where that all goes. Maybe we can follow it up. Okay. That's just a good. Assuming that's some sort of regulator. Do do do. Okay, <clears throat> a crystal. You can see that ramp chip is, they've gotten warm. GPU chip. Again. Yeah. Hmm. Move this right in your way for now. Yeah, you can see they're a bit dirty. Driver I see's got a bit of crud around it. It's okay. This is where the fan plugs in. And this is all the circuitry for that. Capacitors look fine. Control chip. Yeah, you can see right here that this. These are the positives, and then the trace comes around straight to this guy, and it comes out and around straight to this guy, and then from here, it goes in, and starts feeding the board. No, wait, all right. Is that? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is. Missing something. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Oh, sorry, I thought it almost connected to here, but no, these these are all separate. Hard to see on these blackboards. Yeah, okay, no, I'm right. That's right. Okay, we'll go on the back side. Starting at the display connector. Try to get that focus a little bit better. Actors. Mm. 
out. It all seems to be looking pretty well. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see. Any evidence of anybody else trying to? I'm assuming that is our BIOS. BIOS chip. Yeah. Ah, right there. RX 580, 8 gig OCE overclock. I'm assuming. Yeah, this is, yeah, also to note that the warranty seal on the screw, oh, I was the one that poked into it, so then I know, unless somebody replaced the sticker, I am the first person in here Yeah, this all looks good down here. Okay. So that all looks good. Get the microscope out of the way. So then we are ready to plug it in. Let's see what happens. Let's test it. Don't mind the mess. It's yeah. Okay. Will there be fire or will there be picture? Or what is wrong with this thing? TV remote. Turn the TV on. I'll take out this other monster graphics card that was in there. Yeah, since I bought this on eBay, I am leery about plugging this in. But I've tested it, and it all seems like it's going to work or be okay to put power. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to take the motherboard out, power supply, put it all on my bench, and see if... See what the power voltage is on the whole board. HDMI in. Uh... Let's get the 12 or the 8 pin. Okay, everything's plugged in. Power on on the power supply. No fire. We're on. I mean, it's getting detected. We have picture. What? Okay. Before this heats up, we're gonna take it back out, clean off the thermal compound, put fresh thermal compound on, what? and put it in and see what the problem is. Like I said, I bought this thing broken off eBay for parts, and I want to see if it actually is what the problem is. Uh, we got pictures, so I'm going to clean up the die, and we will see what happens. That would be amazing if this thing just worked. I would be pumped. But definitely it does pay to do your due diligence before. 
starting a random graphics card up in a computer because I have had one set on fire and shoot capacitors all over the case. That we don't want. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna clean the thermal compound off of this as well. Okay, this last little bit of video that I have here is just me checking it out with my thermal camera. Something happened with my audio that I wasn't able to capture all of it, so it all ended up strange. Yeah, this is me checking it with thermal camera, seeing how the card is running in my PC. Um, after two, three days of testing, it seems to be running just fine. So it maybe could have been due to the bad thermal paste that it overheated on the other guy. I have no idea. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. If not, hopefully you found it entertaining. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.